Hello YouTubers, today's episode is a tour of Cave Country Campground in Cave City, Kentucky. Cave Country RV Resort is right outside of Cave City. Uh, it's actually right off the expressway, so it's real easy to get to. Uh, might take a little maneuvering to kind of get back to it uh, from the side street, but once you get into the park, there's uh, plenty of a access and it's very easy to uh, navigate. Uh, even though they do shut off the water during the colder weather at uh, five o'clock at night and then they open, start it up again in the morning around 10, uh, they do have water available to top off your uh, uh, fresh water tank and uh, our potable water that's available that uh, anytime right outside the party house so or the office uh, office does have a real nice uh, uh, game room as well as uh, supplies one of the things that they also have is uh, they've got uh, propane fill where they will actually come pick up your tank from your site take it down fill it and then bring it back and then bill you from there uh, late night registration is uh, outstanding. In fact, the last time that we stayed here in April, we uh, got here after closing and he just happened to see us. He came out and got us registered right away anyway. The owner lives right across the street from the office. Uh, they do have ice, of course, and they have a vending machine. The back side of the clubhouse uh, and on this side, this is where the laundry room is and the women's uh, restroom. Um, they don't spare any expense as far as kind of get, keeping this place nice and appealing to look for everybody. Uh, it doesn't matter what angle you look at, it's very attractive. There's no bad side. Laundry facility isn't very big, but it is very up to date. It's also very clean, so you really cannot ask for anything more. Um, it does have two washers and two dryers. It does have your wash tub if you need it and uh, believe that the prices are relatively reasonable. So, uh, nice for your stop off. And again, I highly recommend this place for your overnight stay. They do have uh, uh, real nice sites, which include uh, your water, sewer hookup, as well as 50 and 30 amp. If you do hook up to 50 and 30 at the same time, it's a $5 charge. Otherwise, it's all included with uh, your uh, lot rent, which is approximately $45 with good Sam, it's about $40. Sites are all gravel, and they also include a fire ring and picnic table. Uh, I do have to say that the sites are very level. Uh, I only had to adjust for height, didn't have to do any nose height I didn't have to do anything for left and right uh, when we stayed here last time it was the same thing and that was back in April so right now this is uh, the very end of December going into January and it's a slower time for them they do say that it does get extremely busy in October when everybody's going south and then in April when everybody's going north You getting my uh, my uh, propane? You told, yeah, yeah yes, sir. right down there on the end, so no yeah. big rush. Yeah, no, no, I already filled it up. Oh, did you? Um, if you want to, I didn't know which, if you wanted me to put it on there or something. I could put it on there, so don't worry about that. I don't mind riding back there. Yeah, I'm old, but I still got a little bit of strength. Left. No, no, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, you got nothing else to do, fine. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, all right. Well, thanks for the video, too. Oh, no, I'm giving you guys a good rating here. Yeah, so well, we stayed here, like I told them, we stayed here last uh, April. And when we were gonna, when we got here, uh, we thought it was only gonna be one night. And when we uh, called up in Michigan and 
they says, no, don't come home yet. It's, they got a good ice storm going on. So we stayed like three nights. We ended up going down to Corvette Museum and then went over to Mammoth Cave and had a real good time. So, but, oh yeah, you got a loyal follower for us now. Oh, for sure. Sure. Yep. Well, I don't know about that, but the, depends on which way we come. If we plan on going, we're going to Louisiana, then we're going to hit, um, uh, let's see, Memphis and then St. Louis. And so I don't know if that's going to, if we're getting over this way or not. If we do, then we'll come in. Otherwise, it'll be probably October. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm headed uh, actually towards the other end of the RV park, and that, uh, as you can see, the lot, sorry about the game will move, still working on this yet, and getting used to it, but uh, lots are all pull through, and so each lot has got uh, water, electrical, and uh, dump or septic I should say, also has a fire ring and picnic tables. They do have a rentable party house, that's down here on the end, and they have a dog run. So uh, a lot of nice amenities. Uh, again, I can't overestimate, and I know I've mentioned it in a couple other parts of this video, but this is a clean park. So they do have spots available that you can back in uh, for smaller uh, RVs, Class Bs, uh, and they have uh, just basic uh, setup. In fact, you could probably even put tents in here because they have 120 as well as a water hookup here too. So one of the things that I just took advantage of is they have, of course, trash pickup, which they pick up every morning. All you do is put it out in the front of your lot, and they also have um, propane fill. How's it going? They also have propane fill, whereas you just take your propane tank, put it on the end of your driveway or your part, your spot, let them know that you want to have it filled, and uh, which I do. Otherwise, I think they will pick it up automatically. Drive it down, fill it up, and then take it back to your site. And I just talked to the young man, asked him if he was going to come down and pick it up and he says I already did if you want me to I'll go back and I'll put it back on your camper for you and hook it up so which I thought was above and beyond so but they uh, really go all out as far as making things pleasant you know pleasant for uh, their uh, campers so of course they don't want you driving through the sites I'm just taking the liberty to walk through Another added thing that you do have that I failed to mention at the office is they have campfire wood. So I didn't check the prices, but if it goes with everything else that's uh, at this campground, it's uh, relatively inexpensive. So also on the very end, they do have, uh, you know, a camper or uh, a rentable uh place for to stay overnight uh, if you don't have your own camper uh, they do have one you know where you can rent it by the night or by the week I would definitely give them a call ahead of time uh, 
tunnel. Like I said, as you can see, not too many campers in here. There's a couple of people that are camping that are staying longer term because they're doing some construction work in the area. Otherwise, most of them, they're like us, uh, staying for one or two nights, and that's about it. But if, either way, no matter what you want to do, it's a great place to stop and stay. So, once again, this is the Country Cave Campground, and it's located just outside of Cave City. Oh, by the way, also Cave City does have uh, gas stations with the, which are uh, RV friendly, as well as there's a Cracker Barrel and a few other stores. Grocery stores, I have to admit, uh, relatively limited. Uh, also, there are motels in the area as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Country Cave RV Resort down in Cave City, Kentucky. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments, free, feel free to enter them below. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And most of all, thanks for watching.